Thank you very much for joining the Words of Wisdom with Prayers. Today, I'd like to share with you from the Mastery Hoka's book, Words for Building Characters. This is a hundred sentence. Uh, this book contains hundred sentences which given by Masariho Okawa to think about or to build our characters. And we can, of course, we can uh, rebuild ourselves after reading Masariho Okawa's teachings and we can change ourselves uh, from the being that thinking about themselves only to the peop to the being uh, who can think about others, who can love the God, who can be an angel in this world. Today, I'd like to share with you so four sentences from number one to number four. Number one is. The starting point of love is not about asking for what you want. The starting point of love is not about asking for what you want. Number two, if you fear that others will hurt your ego, you have not yet awakened to love. If you fear that others will hurt your ego, you have not yet awakened to love. Number three, what you ever loved someone until it hurts? Have you ever loved someone until it hurts? Number four, how empty a life is to always seek recognition from others. How empty a life is to always seek recognition from others. Okay, so Master teaches us about the first four sentences about love in the first four sentences. Especially today, I'd like to talk about number two. If you fear that others will hurt your ego, you have not yet awakened to love. So all human beings and animals, or of course the plants or anything else which were created by the God, they have the mind to protect themselves. So all of us want to save ourselves from the enemies, from the others. So at the time we can, it will be the ego. And we can, with the ego, we can protect our, ourselves. But we need to think about the differences between ego and selves. So Master teaches us about the difference between the ego and self in this kyoten, the spiritual truth about curses and spells. Let me quote uh, that, point, that point which talk about the dif difference between ego and self. Seen in koi. Do you know the koi? That is uh, kind of the fish. Uh, it's a Japanese fish. So Master is talking about with uh, the situation of the feeding the koi. According to the teachings of Shakamuni Buddha, people in their young adult years, a period of growth, desire to grow, and that becomes ego. But they must break, break away from it. This state of having ego has a quality that separates the individual and the other person and makes him or her try to outgo others in the fairies, win or lose battle. In order to become successful, such quality may be necessary for entrance exams, the entertainment industry, or other sectors. So some, when we grow, we need the ego 
because that ego will push forward to improve ourselves. And that will be the power to be the greater or to grow as a person uh, for uh, in any cases, in the exam, in the, uh, and master says, in the exam and entertainment industry or any others. So I'm going to continue. Uh, however, if I were to explain it another way, it can look similar to when feeding koi, Japanese carps. Let's say that you own, you own many koi and you go to the pond to feed them. Then the koi sw swarm in and open their mouth at the surface of the water. They push their bodies forward to get as much as get as much food as possible, and they topple over and push each other. This is what it would be like to be full of ego. They want to eat food and uh, prioritize themselves. So when we feed the food to koi, they try to get the food and they push for, push others. So it will be like in this situation, this situation. So they push for, push others and they try to eat the food possible. So this situation is, Masa says, this is kind of the fruit of the situation of fruit of ego. So I'm going to continue. On the other hand, a koi swimming or uh, no charity, no chari no charity in, in the big pond alone is like the appearance of someone who is exploring the self, not the ego. Buddhism, te Buddhism teaches that within ego, there are aspects that harm others or hinder an, an individual spiritual growth through parsing other, uh, parsing worldly success and process, progress or having pride, superiority towards others or a false self. So if we have the much of fruit of ego, I'm going to make the fake ourselves. So it's a not true self because if we are find out ourselves, we are going to think about others and we are going to be a full of love person and full of kind of person and uh, they try to help other people. But uh, when we have the ego and we are having the full self, we cannot do because we just look about ourselves only and we try to get the love from other people. So Master says, Oh, excuse me. As I talked in this book, number four, how empty our life is to always seek recognition from others. So if we, when, we, uh, when we are full of ego, we are seeking the recognition from others. So it means we don't know about the true meaning of love. It is love that gives. So Master says, first of all, we need to get away from the ego and we need to try to find out our true self. It means the original self, which is the uh, mind of kind of in the heavenly world. So before coming to the earth, we are originally from the heaven. So 
and at that time we have the pure heart and we have the uh, mind of kindness but uh, when we go as a human being we make the false self and we make the ego at that moment we cannot see the true self so through self-reflection we can purify our mind and we uh, when we look back our life and try to change our soul mind and action at, at that moment we can find out the true self which are uh, mind when we are when we were in the heavenly world so that is the first step to find out the love or to uh, abandon the ego so try let's try to uh, check ourselves self reflection and love giving love to other people at that moment we can rebuild our life and we can uh, have the bright future and of course we can make the peaceful world in this earth so now uh, let's recite prayer for or oh, sorry let's recite the happy science prayers Lord El Cantare, Mastari Ho Okawa, thank you very much for giving us your great light every day. We practice the principles of happiness, love, wisdom, self reflection, and progress to make the world better with our brothers and sisters. With our gratitude, we will recite the true words spoken by Buddha, prayer to the Lord, and prayer to guardian and guiding spirits. The true words spoken by Buddha, Ryuho Okawa. There used to be the light in the great universe. The light is the energy of Buddha. People can live by this energy, and Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven and prevails on earth. This is the light of heaven through the prism of Buddha. There appear the seven colors of rainbow arching over in the sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is the color of teaching. White is the color of saving. Red is the color of justice. Purple is the color of obedience. Blue is the color of thinking. Green is the color of harmony. Silver is the color of progress. These seven colors help each other and there appears Buttarand. Buttarand is shining brightly because of gathering of bodhisattvas. This is the land of love or the land of mercy. This is the land of wisdom or the land of teaching. Especially, this is the land of souls rest in peace. Real souls are the children of Buddha. The children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. The spirits are immortal powers. The spirits are immortal forces. The spirits are real entities. The physical bodies are the shadows of the spirits. It means you are the boat sailing down the great river. The great river is a symbol of the course of life. Each of you sails down as a small boat. So you need a boatman. If it were not for your own boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock. And you also need a bamboo pole. This pole is the meaning of the true words. When you go down a rapid stream, you need to punt in a stream. Then you can change your course. The true words means the teaching of Buddha. 
Beta enlightened and spoke the true words, and Beta's teaching became a gold mine. This gold mine suggests various teachings. These are another expression of Beta's truth. It brightens up your days, or to put it another way, the fruits of Beta's mercy. All of you, now here, listen to me. Never lose your way, now and forever. The guiding hand has already waved. Please follow this white hand and go straightly on and on. Your lives are not limited to this world only. They have three aspects, the past, the present, the future. Your past have already gone by, yet still, your mistakes will be kept in your minds. That is the reason why you should understand other people, and you yourself should reflect on what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, both are children of Buddha and brothers and sisters. Now then, love each other, let us bring up each other, and it's time to forgive each other. This is the eternal law which penetrates the present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night. The dark night of this world is hell. It is also the same in another world. Since we came down to this world, the sun of the truth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching rising sun. It will shed light to the future to invite sad people to better land. Now here I command, there shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distrust in this world. There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirit in this world. There shall not be the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world, utopia, shall be realized. All of the people love each other, live harmoniously, believe in one another. That world is utopia. All of us could be the light of bodhisattvas. Believe in that the light has reality. Believe in that love has reality. Believe in that the truth has reality. These are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of bodhisattvas, get together, work together to keep right mind and live in tune with Buddha's words. Here we vow to do so. Prayer to the Lord. Our Lord El Kantare, you are the source of all light, all power, all wisdom, and all love. May you give us light, give us power, give us wisdom, and give us love. O oh Lord, our Father, please protect this planet of love earth. Protect us from all evil and open the future for us. O oh Lord, thank you for giving us light. We give thanks from the bottom of our hearts. Prayer to Guardian and Guiding Spirits My Guardian and Guiding Spirits, deep inside of me, you are the fountain of life, the light of hope, the source of wisdom, and the shield of courage. Every day, may you help me develop my soul and refine my mind. Every day, may you give me inspiration and show me the right path to follow. Please protect me from all evil and guide me in living a better life. For this, I give my thanks. Thank you for joining today's Words of Wisdom with Prayers. Have a wonderful day.